Hello, and welcome to another episode of Poems for the Poetically Challenged. The first poem is called Oranges by Gary Soto. The first time I walked with a girl, I was 12, cold, and weighted down with two oranges in my jacket. December, frost cracking beneath my steps, my breath before me, then gone as I walked toward her house, the one whose porch light burned yellow night and day in any weather. A dog barked at me until she came out, pulling at her gloves, face bright with rouge. I smiled, touched her shoulder, and led her down the street across a used car lot and a line of newly planted trees until we were breathing before a drugstore. We entered, the tiny bell bringing a sales lady down a narrow aisle of goods. I turned to the candies, teared like bleachers, and asked what she wanted. Light in her eyes, a smile starting at the corners of her mouth. I fingered a nickel in my pocket, and when she lifted a chocolate that cost a dime, I didn't say anything. I took the nickel from my pocket, then an orange, and set them quietly on the counter. When I looked up, the lady's eyes met mine and held them, knowing very well what it was all about. Outside, a few cars hissing past, fog hanging like old coats beneath the trees. I took my girl's hand in mine for two blocks, then released it to let her unwrap the chocolate. I peeled my orange that was so bright against the gray of December that from some distance, someone might have thought I was making a fire in my hands. Tucson by Stephen Dunn. A man was dancing with the wrong woman in the wrong bar, the wrong part of town. He must have chosen the woman, the place, as keenly as you choose what to wear when you dress to kill. And the woman, who could have said no, must have made her choice years ago to look like the kind of trouble certain men choose as their own. I was there for no good reason myself, with a friend looking for a friend, but I'm not important. They were dancing close when a man from the bar decided the dancing was wrong. I'd forgotten how fragile the face is, how fists, too, are just so many small bones. The bouncer waited, then broke in. Someone wiped up the blood. The woman began to dance with another woman, each in tight jeans. The air pulsed. My hands were fidgety, damp. We were Mexicans, Indians, whites. The woman was part this, part that. My friend said, nothing's wrong, stay put. It's a good fighting bar. You won't get hurt unless you need to get hurt. Goodbye, until next time.